What's up? Sean here, and we're here with the Bevel Essentials Disposable Shaving Kit. So Bevel was kind enough to send me their full disposable shave kit. This is a first from Bevel under the Bevel Essentials line. So biggest thing that comes in uh, the, the disposable kit is going to be five disposable razors. So we'll kind of go in depth. The clear shave gel and also bump control. So first up, overall impressions of like the packaging. So again, Bevel's biggest selling points, um, one of my favorite things in terms of being a customer of Bevel is, is the product the packaging. Um, and this is no surprise here, Bevel has come up with uh, some new designs for the bottles. So you kind of recognize these are a bit different than what you're used to, right? So the shave, shave cream, kind of the, the packaging and what that bottle looks like there versus kind of the brighter appearance, mostly white, you're still seeing the Bevel logo in there. Um, and then just key information, key ingredients that you can look out for, detailed instructions on the back, as well as uh, all the ingredients uh, listed in full on all of the bottles. So this is meant to be Bevel's entry level shave kit. So for folks who don't want to invest right in the full uh, original Bevel shave kit, this is for those who are typically used to using disposable razors. And this is a nice option to be able to kind of get the exact same feel of the bevel shave experience that you're used to, but in kind of a nice disposable form, easy to travel with, and also uh, is at a lower price point. So one of the biggest things you're gonna notice right off the bat um, is, the, is the difference between the razors. So again, you're gonna get five um, razors in total, right? So all five will come in each disposable kit. Um, you'll be able to kind of use them. Again, Bevel rates these um, roughly about three to five shades before you'll need to kind of change the razor blade. So in this case, instead of switching it out for a new blade like you do on the traditional Bevel safety razor, in this case, you would just toss the entire thing. Safety razor is made of 45% wheat straw, so it's gonna be a little bit more sustainable than uh, kind of a plastic alternative. Still has the same level of durability, right? So it's very, very hard to the touch. It's not something that's super flimsy, it's not gonna break down. So some, some of the imagery you guys may be seeing can look almost similar to cardboard, but it's not. Um, it's very much almost like a hard plastic, but again, made with 45% wheat straw. So it gives you the option to be able to kind of toss these um, and, and you know kind of replace it with a new one versus having to switch the blades in and out. So this is again, that nice disposable option, similar to when you're using these other disposable razors that are out on the market. The biggest question that comes from, you know, this kind of comparison between uh, this and the original safety razor is, is the shave experience any different? And it is slightly in a good way. So I think the biggest thing here, the original safety razor, uh, you're getting the weight, right? The weight of the actual metal razor helps kind of, helps with the shave, right? So you're kind of letting gravity do the work a little bit, let the razor kind of do it without you having to put so much effort into kind of controlling it. You're just gonna allow it to kind of fall and you're controlling it with your motion, with your fingers, um, to make sure that it's going in the direction in which you want it to go. In this case, because it's so much lighter, you know, it's, it's very, very lightweight, doesn't really have much of a weight to the head at all. It's a little bit easier to use this in some cases, and it actually gives you a better degree, I've found, a better de degree of control. So as you're kind of figuring out the certain angles to use across your face, it gives you a better degree of control where the weight, you're almost having to fight against the weight of the original safety razor. This gives you a little bit more flexibility in terms of finding those right angles to kind of cut in. If you were working around a goatee or cutting it in, in half, those type of things. Uh, again, it allows for a bit more control than you typically would have the, the original uh, safety razor. And then the blade experience, uh, very much the same. So as you kind of have noticed, so on all of the safety razors, there's a protective cover, which I think is a very smart innovation from Bevel. I really like seeing this protective cover on the safety razors. Um, I'm a bit indifferent on whether I wanna see that on the actual original safety razors. But in this case, it's a very nice uh, ad to be able to kind of help protect your fingers from the blade itself and also keeping the blade intact. Make sure that you're gonna pull off this cover. So you're gonna to wanna to grab it from the sides here, not this kind of long piece. As you pull on this side, that's exactly where the blade is. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you don't cut yourself. Bevel has kind of added these kind of little slots on the back side where you can easily fit your thumb and just kind of pull the cover off. So it's real simple, just pop that off. And then again, you're gonna see that the blade is immediately embedded in the razor. So they already come pre-assembled with the blades intact. So there is no removing of the, the blade like it is on the original safety razor. The blades are exactly the same uh, blades that you're used to. If folks have used the original safety razor and love that shaving experience, how the blade is, the blade is the same here, right? So they're not kind of skimping on the quality 
um, when you're getting a disposable razor, right? The only difference that you're seeing is the material in which the razor is made out of. Actual blade itself is actually a same derivative from the original safety razor. It's just already embedded in the actual razor itself. And again, that outside piece is made with 45% wheat straw. So um, still very hard to touch. You're not getting a whole lot of random flexibility. So again, very consistent you know, strokes for each shave. And it's just very comfortable to use. Um, I'm a big fan of the design, kind of has a nice look to it. And the silhouette is very much the same. If you look at both razors side by side, you're seeing just how similar these are in terms of you know the silhouette of them, the size of them are exactly the same. So again, you're not missing out on too much. For, so, for those who would prefer to go this kind of disposable route, this gives a really nice alternative um, at a lower price point to kind of give you that same feel of the bevel shave. And then let's get into the clear shave gel. So the clear shave gel is actually one of my favorite products uh, to date. Really love the, the scent of, of the clear shave gel, the utility of it. Uh, this is something that not only you can use at home, but barbers as a lineup gel works really, really well. Doesn't foam as much. Uh, the more water you add to it, uh, the more lubricating it will be. So in some cases, you may not need to use the priming oil. You're gonna have a couple things like cucumber extract and aloe. Aloe vera is gonna help with the texture, but also making sure that it kind of helps soothe the skin as you're shaving. Really kind of bring out a slightly different shaving experience than what you're used to if you're used to using shave cream from Bevel. So this is a nice alternative. Uh, again, really easy to be able to see where you're shaving. The clear shave gel allows you to kind of see transparently, whereas with shave cream, you know, or any other shave butter, all of those things can kind of, you know, kind of block being able to see what you're shaving off. So especially if you're kind of getting to these detailed areas around a goatee, lining up a beard, all of those different things, you're gonna want to be able to see uh, kind of where the hairline is, where you don't want to go past. So as it gets into hair, so you know, if you're kind of adding it to your entire face and you're reaching the hair that's on your face, those periods of time you're gonna start to see a little foaming, but it's nowhere near as clouding in terms of visibility uh, as a shave butter or shave cream would be. So for this, all you're gonna wanna do is use about a dime-sized amount. Um, you're gonna wanna work that into your face. Um, it has a nice glide to it. So as you use the safety razor, it actually adds a nice smooth glide to it. There's not too many uh, nicks or pulls or tugs at all. This adds a really nice glide. So I found myself using this not only with the disposable safety razor, um, but the original as well. And it's, it's actually added a really nice experience to the shave. Also something that rinses clean. And that's one of my favorite things to be able to have uh, the shave cream, you know, uh, is as great as it was, and it's one of my favorite products uh, from the Bevel lineup as well. You know, it's it still, there were some difficulties in that, having that kind of rinse clean from the blades, right? So I had to kind of spend more time underwater. This, in a sense, is a little quicker. Um, it rinses clean um, as you kind of run water on your face, that also kind of rinses it off. And from the blades itself, it's not caking up or getting stuck in the blade. So very easy clean shave um, you know something that is making the shaving process a lot easier and a lot smoother um, so again one of my favorite products that's been added to the lineup the uh, the bevel essentials clear shave gel and then last but not least the uh, bump control so this is uh, again a new product from bevel you know one of the things that i've noticed immediately is that the the ingredient list is actually very very similar to the outgoing exfoliating toner so if you remember the exfoliating toner um, came in a bottle just like this, very reminiscent right before kind of they launched the two-in-one pads. If you guys remember that experience, it's very, very similar to that. The scent profile is slightly different. It's actually more pleasant. Again, something that you can use, it kind of uh, smells consistent with the rest of the lineup in terms of bevel essentials. And, and it's kind of, you know, very thin consistency. So it has 10% glycolic acid. So again, something that's gonna be gently exfoliating, but it, it behaves like a traditional aftershave. So um, the instructions that Bevel is getting is to actually use, pour a little bit on your hands. So instead of kind of what we're familiar with in terms of maybe using a cotton pad or a cotton ball, in this case, pour a little bit in your hand, rub it together, and then kind of pat it across your face in the areas that you've shaved. And as a traditional aftershave, uh, it's going to sting a little. Uh, and that's again the 10% the glycolic acid that's in there that helps seal any cuts, nicks that may have happened, and also exfoliate any dead skin that's left over in order to make sure to minimize ingrown hairs and razor bumps. So it takes some getting used to. I'm used to the traditional um, after the shave, you kind of use the post shave balm. And you can still follow it up with this, um, but again, this is kind of that step that's included uh, in the essentials lineup. 
Um, and so you would use this, you would use the shave gel, rinse that off, and then you would also apply this right after. And then you would follow that up with whatever moisturizer you're using, whether that's the bevel face gel or others, you would use that as kind of the, the finishing touch after kind of using the, the bump control. Now, I found myself using it after every single shave, uh, and it's been doing a really good job at keeping any typical ingrown hairs that I would get at bay, as well as helping my skin feel a little bit smoother after each shave. So the Bevel Essential Disposable Starter Kit starts at $29.95. Um, that's a really good deal in terms of what you're getting. So, you know, if you look at the imagery on the website, I was actually surprised when I received these that it's it's four ounces. Um, so these are the traditional size of the bottles that Bevel typically makes. The imagery made me think that it was actually a smaller bottle size, so maybe like the two ounce bottles that you kind of get in the trial kits. This is uh, full size, right? So you don't want to spend quite as much money to get the original bevel shave kit this gives you a nice alternative at a better price point at $29.95 that will include those five disposable safety razors um, that are good for three to five shaves each you'll have the clear shave gel and you also have the uh, the bump control that will come in there as well so again four ounces of both of those and then they also they also sell these things individually as well so if you just want to re-up on the uh, the clear shave gel that's sold for $9.95 you have the bump control that's sold for $12.95 also if you want to just re-up on on just the razors themselves you have plenty of clear shave gel and bump control you can get a pack of five disposable razors again separately from the other two bottles uh, for $9.95 so again really really good deal under ten dollars to get all of these things um, individually and if you want the collective package again under 30 so a really good deal for those who prefer a single blade shave as opposed to multi-blade and again it's, it's it doesn't cost a ton to be able to kind of get that same bevel shave experience that you're used to or that you know or want and desire out of the original shave kit um, down to this disposable shave kit that you know again offers it at a lower price point so this has been my first impressions review of the Bevel Disposable Safety Razor, the Clear Shave Gel, and also the Bump Control, all part of the Bevel Essentials Disposable Shave Kit. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave those down in the comment section below. If you liked the video and found it super helpful, make sure you guys leave a like uh, and subscribe to the channel. And let us know what you're interested in seeing from the Bevel Essentials lineup. They just recently launched the hair oil. There's a few other products coming down the pipeline, so let us know what you're interested in seeing. And until the next one, thank you guys for watching. Peace.